what's up y'all so i didn't even really record a lot for my birthday it was just so busy to be honest we had went to river street i don't know what possessed my husband to want to take me to river street we went there before for um i want to say our anniversary we did we went there for our anniversary that was unexpected because we was already down in that area but anyway it was so busy y'all they had like a um a boat show where the boats was um had all the christmas lights decorated for christmas they had like huge boats little boats all type of boats and um they had like a little light show it was so many people it took us an hour to park but y'all when i tell y'all when we park literally the boat show was just ending and then everybody was leaving out all the parking spots and we like really we couldn't find out one parking spot so it was crazy but i still had fun besides that like we went to go um we were supposed to go in some um places but i honestly got tired after riding around for an hour trying to find parking it kind of was like a buzz kill for me and i couldn't really get back energetic after that because then everything started shutting down and then everybody was leaving and it was just like uh but yeah i done went and got some stuff we got water milk sausage eggs meat noodles my husband some um tea because i'm gonna cook today i think i'm gonna cook y'all my lash is still on y'all see that they still holding on it. I told my daughter I'm getting them lashes back from her. Cause I gave them to her. But they look so cute. I love that I love putting the lashes at the end instead of all over my eye. I don't know. I just like that look. I don't mean laying on them now. They probably look crooked. Huh? Yeah, I like it like that. So they're gonna have to get my lashes back. She ain't gonna wear them anyway. Cause she you hear that? Cause she like the script. So I was trying to find some cereal. Um, containers, but I think I'm gonna go to Bills and I probably might find something cheaper in Bills, yeah, because them on cereal container $13 and they tiny. And I don't want to get these, these five dollars right here, but they so flimsy and cheap. I have one at home that I'm, I'm about to get rid of, so we probably just go ahead and pay for this and then we're gonna run a Bills because I said my budget was $50 in here and I'm pretty sure I'm at $50. I didn't get no juice or no soda, but I probably go back over here and get um a Hawaiian punch juice. Get just one um for them because I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of juice um shopping. Yeah, because it took you like it took you 30 minutes to open the bag. <laughs> so yeah, we had $38, but we still gotta scan the eggs and the meat. Cause I told y'all my budget was fifty dollars. So let me see how much y'all Oh, look, it's already 51 And then the eggs. Oh, $57. When we was walking up here, I said it was going to be about $60 because I calculated everything in my head. So I was right. See how I'm good with them numbers? Period. Don't play with me. Give me my props because you don't know want to get my props on stuff. Hater, hater. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Or welcome if you are new. My name is Rafika. So, y'all, I'm sitting outside Marshall's. I'm going to eat me a salad that I made this morning before I left. Um, I got me some bananas. I got me some water. And I also got me a Capri Sun. I'm about to eat really quick. Today, I need to just find me some long sleeve shirts or, like, some long sweaters or something. Because I start work. Most likely, it'll be next week. And, um... I'll be working inside, but y'all know it's cold outside, and then some of them stores still be kind of cold. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I have not been recording. I have not recorded in a week. Um, I did post like the salt prank video on the layer. That video, I I actually recorded that video like two weeks ago, but um, y'all know it's been going a lot been going on with family and stuff that you know just personal life stuff but anyway um tomorrow i got a grocery shop so that'd be interesting the school the kids are going to be out of school for two weeks in a day eating up everything child so anyway i'm super excited about all this stuff um going here and try to find me at least two or three shirts because i got um some stuff but y'all know 
how that go you're gonna be wanting to wear your good stuff to work not me so i'm gonna start off with marshall's today um i ain't knew marshall's open at 8 30 they must be changed their hours for the holidays or something so i'm about to eat my salad really quick while um before i go in here since they open if i don't find what i'm looking for in there then i'm gonna push it a little further find tj Maxx, ross um maybe even charlotte roofs i don't even know yet but anyway i just wanted to pull y'all up update y'all um we're gonna be looking for stuff today so i'll pull y'all up when we get in marshall's all right y'all told y'all i had all my kids snacks back here and i have to keep them in the trunk because if i bring them in the house they're gonna eat them all up and when I was looking for my back black and red jacket. And then when it's time for um, Christmas break, they're gonna be looking crazy because they ain't got snacks. So I just been loading up on snacks every day, like buying stuff. Well, not every day, like buying stuff here and there so they can have a good bit. Cause two weeks is a long time. And this right here will last my kids a week, literally five kids a week. All right, y'all. I couldn't really record in freaking TJ Maxx because they had their music blasting but i found these shoes they was only 22 dollars y'all and i love adidas but this is a size eight this is definitely too big for me i'm a seven <laughs> and it is big but i could wear like a thick sock with this and you know i was literally telling my husband to order me some shoes on team you y'all remember the shoes my husband ordered me on team team you if not i'm gonna put a picture right here so y'all could so y'all can see what i'm talking about i did a video on it and um they're very similar to these right here um i went on and got them because they were 22 dollars. i think the shoes on team was like 20 dollars also but i just went on and got them because it was the last pair y'all know how marshall's and tj maxx and all sell they stuff even though that's a size eight that is too freaking big i think team you might run like a little bit of a little small oh my car just did some weird stuff Pull me back up, baby. So I think they they shoes run small because my husband brought me those shoes off Team You. They was a six and a half. Mind you, I can't fit a six and a half in some shoes. Um, I can't fit a six. I could fit a six and a half. I could do a seven and a seven and a half. But those are eight. Those are big. But um, I would be working in those, so I'd be on my feet all day, and my feet do tend to swell. I don't know if it's because of my high blood pressure or um. My, my mama was saying it might be my salt intake um how my feet swell because y'all not do got like little health issues and stuff but um those shoes are gonna be just fine because my when my feet swell i can still wear those those would be like my backup backups <laughs> and y'all i did end up coming to freaking walmart but these are the little sweaters i was talking about and i like that they got the split side but then they got like some sweaters over there that i really really like they are 17 these are 10 but they don't got my color they got purple they got pink but they don't got white they do got black i was looking for like cream and these are just like regular knitted um, sweaters right here yeah this is so freaking cute to me i love this sweater I don't know where I wear it. I mean, work. <laughs> but this is just cute. The cutest thing. I love this. Gorgeous. Yeah. This is so freaking cute to me. I love this sweater. I'm currently making me a matcha in my cup and the house is a mess it need to be clean that's the first we ever had like a a freezer full of ice normally the kids eat up all the ice before you even could do anything There's 
kind of empty. I always get that, put that in there and mix it up. I brought some last night because the kids ate all that. Y'all know I got that from Sam's, but I go grocery shopping tomorrow, so that's a good thing. I can get more. But I got this one from Walmart. <laughs> so I'm going to um, put this in here. I just love whipped cream. I love me some whipped cream. And my kids do too. So anyway, I'm about to um, get ready to clean up because the house is a mess. I go grocery shopping tomorrow. I literally need to clean out my refrigerator. It's a mess. Um, the freezer not so much a mess. It's just kind of empty because... We pretty much ate all our food. <laughs> I got chicken thighs. I'm going to cook a whole thing of chicken thighs. I'm going to do pasta. I'm going to do chicken pasta today. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Um, These are all like vegetables and stuff that I just need to really just put in here. I just need to get it back organized. It's not bad, but it's bad. So also I need to wash dishes. All of these are dirty. I cooked tacos last night. Nobody cleaned up. Because y'all know my kids don't like to clean up. They sorry. Alea clean up sometimes. She my only child that will clean up and actually do something. That's my 15-year-old, if you don't know. But I be stopping her sometimes because she'll, she'll just clean up all the time. And I don't allow her to do it when I can't try to tell her to stop, leave it alone, don't do it. Because she shouldn't be the only one happen to clean up all the time the boys don't clean up anything they don't do nothing but eat and play the game they barely clean up their room they don't do no chores i ask them to clean up they won't clean up so that's why i don't allow my 15 year old to um clean anything because she'll do it sometimes but i'm not about to have her doing it all the time she's not about to be that kid that always cleaning up and cleaning out the everybody while nobody else do nothing i'm not like that i'm not built like that um i gotta clean up the living room because it's a mess it smell like trash in here because i had two bags of trash the boys own um, choice was to keep the trash out they don't take out the trash i just took out two bags of trash um so yeah i'm about to get it clean and then i'll show y'all i think everything is nice and clean
I'm done with all the hard stuff. Whew, hold on. Whew. As soon as I got the recording, my mama was calling. I call her right there, though. So I just wanted to show y'all the progress. So um, I am done in the living room. I do got to sweep and mop still. I do got to clean out the table because y'all know it's like marks all over this table. Got the table. Y'all look what my little son had. I need to throw it in the trash. My kids is just so rough with stuff. But I done cleaned my kitchen. That bag of trash came out of the refrigerator in the trash that was already around the house everywhere. I cleaned all of this stuff. I do need to clean my microwave because, y'all, my kids use the microwave. You already know. Um, wash these dishes. I got dishes in here that I need to cut on. I also cleaned the refrigerator. It looks so much better. I try to clean the refrigerator at least once. Um, once a week if it's not too bad, but I end up cleaning it like every four days. So I don't know if that's, that's not considered like really once a week, but it's like every four days. But anyway, done got all this part out of the way. Looks so much better. So much better. It's kind of chilly. My favorite, favorite is literally spaghetti. Oh, we're not cooking spaghetti, baby. Um, it is 521. It's kind of chilly in here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to really take off my jacket. And I really don't want to crank up the heater. We don't have anything on in our house. I don't even know how. Last I checked, it was like 75 degrees. If I cut the heater on, it's going to be like piping hot. I think the heater on upstairs, just not downstairs. So it's kind of cool in here. But I'm gonna get ready to make dinner. I am making chicken Alfredo. So I got my broccoli, I got my chicken, I got my sauce, got all my little ingredients. Uh, Ava is over there mad. If y'all could hear, she's looking at Alphabet because she's been having a time in school. And when I say a time in school, I think she feel like she don't gotta listen to her teacher and that's not okay. And her teacher was like, oh, well, she only know 15 of her letters out of 26. And that is a lie. Um, she definitely knows her alphabet. But I noticed that she was struggling with four of them, which is W and M and G and Q. But she got the M. But now she's just struggling with the W. She keep like w she'll be like is it m after she does she know what m is but she keep calling the w m and um yeah so anyway uh she didn't want to listen her teacher asked her to write a sentence off the board and she wouldn't write the sentence off the board she just wouldn't do it teacher asked her to do it she told her she just sat there she wouldn't do it so she kind of on punishment yes at five years old she's on punishment she's not um watching what she want to watch she's not playing a game Today is Thursday. They out of school 
for two weeks, her TV time still is going to be limited and she is still going to be studying and doing alphabets the whole two weeks. Is is you know, five kids. <laughs> no, nobody never said it was easy. And I know my kids are asked to be here, but at the same time, I feel like I am trying to do the best I can do. And do I get overwhelmed? Of course. What parent don't get overwhelmed? Because that's how I've been feeling lately. Just overwhelmed. It's just been a lot going on. Y'all know family. A lot with family. A lot with me trying to work. A lot with me trying to find a place. Trying to keep five kids in order. Me trying to make sure all the kids good before I start work. It's just... Yeah. It's just one of them days we don't want to be all alone. So, I might get ready to cook and feed everybody and wash and soak and get my mental together. And then I am going to bed. Tomorrow is Thursday. And I got grocery shopping to do. I do my grocery list, so I got to do that. But anyway, let me get off here because Ava is playing her little alphabet and I know it's loud, so I'll put her makeup later. I swear, it's just always something. <laughs> so I thought I was about to cook some pasta and I kind of got everything. I even got my Alfredo right here. I'm going to need that. But when it comes down to my pasta... <laughs> Did I ever tell y'all about this? Speaking of, I had this not knowing that these little capsules that come in this, they got caffeine in them. And I can't have caffeine. So I had a, I was drinking it and I had it on like one. One is like the lowest flavor you can get. But it took me like two. I'm lying. It took me it, it took me about four days to figure out. I couldn't have this because I had it on the lowest setting it can go. And it was making my heart and I was just, mm, I had to leave it alone. I ended up giving it to my husband. I mean, it don't got the same thing because you change this part out with every one you use. So he not drinking out of my, out of my um, suction part. You change, you get a new suction part every time you buy a new one. So he just really just using the, the bottle. But anyway, I don't got no noodles. <laughs> the only noodles I got are these bow tie pasta noodles and <laughs> oh, <shit. gasps> I'm over it. I'm definitely not going to the store. I'm definitely not about to go back to the, to the store. All right, y'all, so this is my pasta, but I'm gonna add more chicken. I got, I cooked this chicken on top of the stove. I got some in the air fryer. You know, this chicken just tastes really good to me in the air fryer. And like once I get halfway, like this. Oh wait, let me prop y'all so I want to see y'all can see. See when it get halfway like this, I flip it so it can cook on the other side. So it got 15 minutes, and I'm literally just about to flip it. We just flip it on the other side and let it cook. This chicken tastes so good in the air fryer. Boneless chicken thighs in the air fryer. If you haven't tried it. Please try it. But I just wanted to cook it on the stove to see how it'll turn out. And it turned out good. I slow cooked it on four. And it turned out good. It basically turned out how it turned out in the air fryer. Um, but I'm gonna pop this back. I'm gonna pop this in for 15 minutes on this side. Well, really 13 minutes. So the chicken thighs, the boneless chicken thighs, I put on 25 minutes. So. Um, I let it cook halfway through on one side and then I flip it and it cook half on the other side and then it be done. You see what I mean? Your air fried chicken gonna look like that. Crispy. Crunchy. I'm about to add this to my pasta. Alright y'all, I had to come upstairs and get some peace. Some peace. Real bad, but um, this is the pasta. Finally done. Um, I did fix the kids food for I came up here. I just wanted to eat in peace today. Normally, um, I will eat down there, but everybody kind of off doing their own little thing anyway. So I came up here, I'm about to eat. 
I'm about to watch some TV for a little second. I'm about to get in the tub. I'm about to soak. I think I'm going to just soak and relax and listen to me some common music. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close out today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to your girl channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.